Hello YouTubers! This time I've tested the Trustfire 14500 lithium ion battery. 14500 is the size code, which means that the battery's diameter is 14 mm and it's 50 mm long. It's the same AA size we used to see on alkaline or nickel metal hydride batteries, but the nominal voltage is 3.7 volts instead of 1.5 or 1.2 volts. So you can't replace a single 1.2 volt battery with this one. Trustfire 14500 is rated at 900 mAh and the heat shrink tube claims there is a protection PCB integrated. But before testing the capacity and checking the protection, let's take a quick look at my equipment and testing rules. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade, and before each discharging cycle, a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The battery which I've tested has the following marking embossed on its e shrink tube. IC21 AFK UGY3H. I don't know what it means, but it differs from battery to battery. Trustfire doesn't provide any datasheet for his batteries, so I used the following values taking into account 900 million power declared capacity. Rated capacity 900 million powers. Nominal voltage 3.7 volts. Standard charge current 640 milliamps. Charge end voltage 4.20 volts. Charge cutoff current 100 milliamps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. The measured weight of my cell was 19.89 grams. It's 49.1 mm long and the diameter is 14.0 mm. Now let's take a look at the results of the tests. A 0.2C or 0.18 amps Trustfire 14500 gave out 885 mAh or 32 49 mWh. It's a bit lower than the 900 mAh declared, but it's a great result I think. At one amp discharge, the result was 762 million powers or 2673 mWh. At two amp discharge rate, it gave out 735 million powers or 2458 mWh. At three amps, 544 million powers or 1773 mWh. I decided to go further and try at four amps and five amps. So at four amp discharge rate, uh, it gave out 372 million powers or 1215 mWh and at 5 amps 252 mA or 805 mWh. Nevertheless, I would not recommend to discharge it at 4 or 5 amps. On the battery there is a mention about built-in protection PCB. I opened the official website of Trustfire and found out that there are 14500 batteries come in two versions, with and without protection. On their photos, I saw only the one with PCB on the negative pole. It adds about 2 mm to the length and can be detected visually. On the other hand, visual and tactile inspection of my battery showed that there is no PCB inside, so I decided to check it. I easily managed to discharge it down to 1.9 volts, which is far below the over-discharge detection voltage of any protection PCB, so there is no protection built in, definitely. So, Trustfire 14500 battery I tested is the non-protected version. 
Its real capacity is more than 870 million powers, which is an impressive result in comparison with other 14500 batteries. Its curves look very good even at 5 amp discharge, but don't forget that the higher is the discharge rate, the shorter is the battery cycle life. That's all for today, don't forget to like this video if you find it useful, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss the future videos. See you guys!